Hello everybody and welcome back to my deck with me carburetor. Today we are going to be looking at the fastest furnace in the game and that is right here. Now this is one of my own design but I'm not going to lie this is a uh, very this is kind of rudely based off of the um, furnace that I built a little while ago. I just built it so that the redstone can be extended a little bit and it gives it a little bit more range. Um, Let's hop over to our resources board here. Officially, um, this uses 88 redstone dust, 6 chests, 56 furnaces, uh, 338 hoppers, or 5 stacks plus 18, 2 redstone torches, 2 repeaters, 2 comparators, and 96 solid blocks. And this can be um, this can be cobblestone, this can be stone, this can be sandstone, but it can't be anything like glowstone or anything like that. Now, for up here, it can be but you know then I start getting into the nitty bitty and the nitty in the itty bitty gritty stuff but um anyway this is the furnace right here and I've actually timed it several times sorry just lost my voice there a little bit uh, to smelt nine stacks of items takes about two and a half seconds now I don't know about you guys but that's extremely fast <clears throat> Sorry for arguing my throat, but um, I decided to do something a little bit different here, and I decided to build it in steps here to kind of show you guys how it's built. But we'll start right here. First, you'll just want to start by laying down um, 28 hoppers on either side like this. Then you go through and you put the furnaces in, and after you put the furnaces in, you put the hoppers uh, going down facing into the back and two rows on each side like this. Then the next one, this is kind of a completed slash half completed one. Uh, these hoppers going down the middle, both of these uh, two lines go running down all the way to the end, down to these hoppers. Now if you really wanted to, you could replace these with droppers, but I figured I'd try and keep it safe, or not safe, uh, simple. And then with these hoppers, you just have them pointed down into these furnaces, and that this will be the fuel input and the item input, and then the hoppers that are underneath here are what take the smelted items back to the main chest. After that, you put your chest in, and then you put another line of hoppers pointed down into these hoppers. That's to make it so that uh, when the redstone flashes, items don't get trapped in these hoppers. Well, they will get trapped in these hoppers, but these hoppers will actually be able to pull them through. And then you run your uh, redstone lines, and these are where you really need your solid blocks. Is right here. Any most other places you don't need your solid blocks, but on the sides right here you do. And you put your uh, redstone down on it, and you also put a comparator here and here. That comparator then gets put into a block right here with redstone dust on it, facing into a repeater and that'll be used a little bit later. This redstone then gets powered by this redstone torch right here, and then we also start our supply line. These hoppers need to be pointed in all the way down, and these hoppers need to be pointed into these repeaters, or into these comparators. If you don't have that, it won't work. I've tried it, trust me. And then the final step is you put the chests up here, you put all the chests in, you make you need to make sure that you fill this up and this is where having something like a blaze farm comes in handy because a blaze farm you can get a lot of fuel but for something like this coal just I don't think is going to cut it unless you have a wither skeleton farm you're not going to be able to get enough coal however if you need to live off of coal for a little while you do have the option of going through and putting coal in manually that's kind of why I had them all facing out like this but anyway this repeater faces into a block which then powers this line goes down and this block prevents that redstone from hopping over and creating a redstone burnout clock which then powers this uh, this redstone torch and if we hop back over here I'm going to take nine stacks of a smeltable item it's just going to be cobblestone but anyway uh, I think I'm going to do a quick time lapse of these uh, of it smelting it just to show just how fast it is and we'll see you all after the time lapse. <music> So 
so as you guys can see it flowed in really nice really quickly i mean it was just boom 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 it was flowing in almost as fast as the hoppers could take it now you did kind of notice how it petered off there towards the end that's because when the items are being taken out they need to go all the way down and it feeds the far hoppers or the far uh, furnaces first and then it needs to go through all these hoppers to come back everything's not instantaneous everything takes time so that's kind of why um, something like this is not necessary or something like this is the faster one compared to something well let's go take a look all right so we are now in a world where we have three of these super furnaces that I'm calling them. This is the very first of my super furnaces that I did a couple of weeks ago, or actually a couple of months ago now. Holy crap, time flies when you're not having fun, right? <clears throat> but this is the one that I showcased. It has 30 furnaces and kind of small in comparison to this one, which has 56, almost double. And then there's this behemoth. I actually made this because I was going to do uh, two videos, one on this one and then one versus this one, and I ended up not really doing that, but um, I think these will showcase it perfectly. I'm just going to grab a, a couple of stacks of cobblestone here, and it'll help me illustrate just some of the problems here. I'm only going to put in three stacks in each one, but we'll wait for it to fire. So it all fired, and it'll fire again. And I'll show and I'll show you what happens is it ends up double stacking here. So it's actually feeding in faster than the furnaces can do it. Now that's not a problem. That's actually very efficient. It's not time efficient, but it's resource efficient. You're not gonna uh, sit there burning your fuel without items to uh, be smelted in there. But whereas with this one, which is the fastest in the game wait for it to fire here this one takes a little while to fire I really need to figure out how to do a uh, timer on these so I can also do a time uh, a time or a time a timed time lapse that took a while to say but as you'll see this one as soon as it finishes smelting it goes out and that's just because of the size of this thing it's perfectly tuned for that as soon as it's done smelting it drops it now we'll go over to this one and this one is going to take a really long time to fire because these hoppers have to transport the items all the way down to that comparator down there do 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 there we go but this one when you'll see it fire Once it's done smelting, it'll just sit here and idle for a little while. It won't have anything to do. Now, this is still a very fast furnace, and as you see, it didn't take that long. But typically with furnaces, the smaller it is, the more resource-friendly it is as far as fuels, as far as hoppers, and everything else like that. And when you're having it just sit here and idle and not really do anything, I don't think we actually have any more fuel. Um... That's another thing, is that now we're burning, I think this was a, I think this one had 48 on each side. Don't quote me on that, I don't remember off the top of my head. But now we have 48 fuels that are just sitting here burning with nothing to do. And I've actually timed it for this one to do 9 stacks is 2.5 minutes. For this one to do 9 stacks is over 3 minutes. And some people wonder, well, why does it take so much longer? the hoppers here are the limiting factor um now this is a purely vanilla setup here these are hoppers set to a vanilla standpoint but you can actually tune your hoppers uh on exuma's lpmt they actually have the hoppers tuned down so this would probably be a better furnace design than this on exuma's lpmt server but for just if you're just going to build a build for shits and giggles and just have a little bit of fun, I think this is probably the best one out there. But um, if you're just building a furnace to have the fastest smelting system that you can, this one probably is definitely going to be the best. Um, 
just another quick notice you'll notice how some of the furnaces didn't fire that's because uh, hoppers are a little laggy there's some rumors that they've had that fixed in the um in the latest 1.13 release but uh seeing as it how it has how it hasn't released yet we don't really have that option of testing that but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to smash that like button if you really liked it make sure to subscribe i'm always looking for video ideas i'm always open to discussion forums so hit me up uh in the comment section i make sure to reply to everyone sometimes it takes me a few days because i do work 50 hours a week but that's going to change here shortly as i actually just quit my job and i'll be going to work at a busing company as a mechanic and I should get a few more hours in the day to be able to just sit down, be able to relax, and be able to uh, chat with you guys. But anyway, I hope to see you all next week.